But I have I've not tried Tuba Crow. I don't want to die. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering, Tuba is a um, it's a, it's Filipino coconut wine, supposedly 110% alcohol. I hope, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna go in for some more story today. Ah, yes. I miss this. You know, it's been a week. So now we are on uh, episode four in sheep's clothing. There's only one more episode after this. It's uh, episode five. So I think if we finish if we finish episode four, and we still have time, we can actually finish the whole game. So let's do this. Let's go, everybody. Episode four. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Mm. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, yes. Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! You have trust tell issues, me Beast. Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? And yeah, I got shot. I got shot up to all hell. It was a good show, but you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. People have a thing for getting hands and shaking them. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Broke my arm, too. Broke my arm, bitch. Goddamn arm. How am I supposed to do wolf stuff with only one arm? Ah, goddamn it. It's been a rough night, everybody. It's been a rough night. Uh. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ow. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? No. He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Do I look I okay? No. Every single scrap of silver. He's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. My arm. This way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm. I can do for the pain. My arm. Well, stay still and let me finish. My arm. Yes, very ugly. But yes, this dude's friend. still being alive, though. I'm alive, man. Peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, but they don't move it, doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Son of a bitch! Okay, fine. Uh, uh, here we go. 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 Uh, come on. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, one more time. One more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. I can hear no you. Much to what even I can do. 
You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> the doctor is the type to do main quest first. <laughs> he probably did Skyrim. He played Skyrim and did all the main quests first. Single-minded determination. Me, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... Out of the woods. Was that a joke, Snow White? Because I'm a wolf. Be better hands, and I need the space to work. So, if I'll, you wouldn't mind, I'll be fine. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. I'll be fine. Hello, Jinor. Hello. Hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. God damn it, pig! It's finished when it's finished. God damn it, pig! Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be Thank you for the lurk, right Asian. Amogus. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W <sighs> with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, Please, lady. keep it down back there. Thank uh, you. <laughs> I'm in no position to talk. My <sighs> internal there. organs have shrapnel. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits Things are getting out well, of hand. Well, exactly. This time, this time was no joke. Exactly, girl. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Silver round, Miss though. Warren, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please... Don't give him the excuse. Snow, you don't pay the doctor enough. Give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into. I can still hear you. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. Oh shit, Emily! Thank you for the raid! Jesus Christ, oh wow! Welcome raiders, welcome! The Duchess <laughs> the Duchess raids! So... How do you... How you uh, doing? How feel? you doing, uh, Emily? Feel free to it's shout yourself out. Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, uh, I've seen him take worse. As good as it gets. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. Must suck. Werewolves can't eat with silverware. This is true. This is I'm true. glad you're not dead. Ah, uh, thank you, Snow. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. How how was you, your Omnio uh, stream? You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or or died, I guess. I died, Snow. Don't worry about it. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Oh, okay. Oh, I've hold on, hold never on. Seen you. Like that, and when Swineheart arrived, you know, well, thank you for follow. Thank you for the follow. Uh, and even he thought you were. You were really worried. You were really worried about me. Salt and fucking betrayal. <laughs> yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you, you take an action. Call them oopsie. <laughs> oopsie. Okay, the I'll way. I'll take that. Welcome to the Colin, wolf pack. I'm just saying, I was worried about him. Is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. Y'all need the Zongli what sound effect. Thing? Well, I should get that. I should put there. that on I my mean, soundboard. Do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Uh, Snow. Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? This is a bigger or thing is now. Is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought. I just woke it was. up and wake up to the wolf among us. I'm yeah. now happy. Welcome, the Tater. Welcome. How are you? What are you doing? For him to attack Holding us up so okay, buddy? Like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. Thanks <laughs> for all that back there. Oops, is that pig no talking? Yes. <laughs> You're not pissed talking that pig. Crane's flown the coop, or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. Uh... We're all mad about it, Colin. 
Snow it's did not what like she had, had to. a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? She didn't hand uh, him over. My ass would be down the. Uh, so so basically, uh, let me explain for for Oops, who has who hasn't seen this before. Uh, wolf Among Us. This is a this is about fairy tales, by the way. My main character, he's the big bad wolf, and the pig that's talking is one of the three little pigs, and the one I'm talking to is Snow White. Witching well, Crane still. Oh shit! Come Doge, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's been a while. It's been a while. Nope. And right here, and okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, Thank okay. you for the redeem, Janora. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. Yeah. It can't other just circles. be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Mm. How long has Crane this was stuff used. been going on? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily and Faith? Wolf Among Us movie. I don't know how it all works out <laughs> yet, but I know it does. That would be creepy. That would be a good Somehow. take. That would be a good take on the it. The crooked man declared war against Zero us Zero fitting night. in the story <laughs> because I'm a doge now. I thought when it happened. Because I'm a doge. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because take our way sip of doing of things is broken. We need to do things the hmm. right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. We're doing our Bigby's best here. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. That's true. So, starting now... We do everything cut and dried, by the book. No, why it looks like she stayed error. dead for another three sure weeks before Prince came to save her. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of. Sure, you're not. This <sighs> town has enough monsters. The Doge what among happened us. last night, what you turned into. I need that artwork, can't bro. Happen again. <laughs> we need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really mm. believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice. Then that would mean I'd lost all faith in the our wolf is so hot. Oh, gee. Just let that side yeah, be, be big, done. Okay? Big B's, be big B's done got the, the look, that gruff look, on. grizzled veteran look. Look, Big B, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So, for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Big B to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B Don't Be Such a Dick Club. And what? But this is the Thanks. wrong fucking time to put shackles Thanks, on. Thanks, Colin. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. I like this pig. I like this get pig. the job done. Just let just, him yeah, do just it. Just let me do my I'm job. I'm going to. I'm going to let you do it. Yeah. Okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Ah. <sighs> and this situation has to end what situation all unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. oh give me a fucking oh, no break. man are you gonna let her talk to me like that it's been the rule for a reason come though. down everyone Look, everyone just calm down all right i'm perfectly calm come down i'm not tell me right now what's it gonna be bigby Wolf's residence. Yeah, that's rude. That's rude. It's my house. Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. The pig Thanks. is so chill. I can feel like yes, he'll nonchalantly watch me eat right pork now. in front of him. What happened to his other brothers? Nerissa. Nerissa. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. Mm. You always do well with Probably the, knows uh, something. disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. Crow, the, the, the pig Buffkin smokes and drinks, by the way. <laughs> I've seen him drink, drink whiskey. 
Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, <sighs> she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Yeah, Ooh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't I'll do that to you. I like you, pig. I like you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Just, you know, choose friendship over the rules. Besides, I need someone to watch over the house when I'm not here. Also, I need emergency bacon, just in case. Emergency bacon. Keep the pig when you get hungry. Exactly. Exactly. He's the type of dude who's down to drink whenever you call him. I can, I, 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 I feel that. <laughs> oh, shit, here. The opening, the opening scenes. Welcome to the Wolf Among Us. Directed by Kent Muzzle. So each uh, episode actually plays out like a TV series. So this is the, the title, <laughs> the title, title sequence. Music by Jared. Jared, I didn't read that. Emerson? Episode 4 In Sheep's Clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. This is the Little Mermaid, by the way. Same art style like The Walking Have Dead. Yeah. Seat. Um, this, the people who made this are Telltale Games. They also made the Walking Dead series. Which I might play the Walking Dead series eventually. I, I really, really like the Telltale Games series, and I have never I, played the Walking Dead. Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. I've been better. Let's just say I've been better. I've been better. <laughs> I got some silver in my spleen, but I'm fine. I can still smoke. Do you like Puffin one? Puffin Puffs. Not many people smoke those. <laughs> Alright, let's hear it. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. Yeah. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go mm. ahead. You have it more on Crane. Might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. Mm. If I could answer you just like The magic. That. I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. Mm. And I don't know what to do. Hmm. About Faith and Lily. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Hmm. So I hope you're looking after yours. See, I have to look between the meaning of her words. Are you? Look friends around in... you. Friends are Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. 
I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Your lips, but are, your sealed. lips are sealed. Your lips are sealed, yeah? I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. Mm. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? Beautiful. It was... <clears throat> it is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I have a feeling that since all of their heads came flying off, if you take the ribbon off, something bad's gonna happen. I have a feeling. Any way to break the spell? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Mm. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. It's the ribbon. It's definitely the ribbon that's keeping their head Please in place. Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Okay, it's okay. I know. I know. The wolf knows. If anyone finds out I came here. Shh, it's okay. That's probably snow. I'll handle this. I'll handle Listen, this. Sheriff. Eh? Can you keep this conversation between us? Of course. I could be in a lot of trouble. Sure. I shouldn't thing. be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sure thing, sure thing. Snow, don't be don't be jealous. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff. Don't for be a jealous, moment. okay? Please I was us. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything, okay? I have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. She's dropping hints for me. Chat, he's dropping hints for me. That was... Oh, and uh, thank you for rocked. the care package, Asian. One uh, send a message. Okay, stretch. What did she I'm tell drink you? Some, uh, I'm gonna drink some of my drink. I didn't mean to rush her out. Uh, did magic keeps her from her? talking. Told me enough. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good Lengthen work. Lengthen thyself, yes. I will. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Yeah. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Hmm. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Mm, you're right. I have other matters to attend to. I can't trust anyone here. Can't trust anyone. Right. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. All right, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. You said it was settled. That oh, hold on, hold on. To agree to it. Oh, there's some nice pictures. Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? 
You know what it was. You know let me let me was. listen in. Let me listen in. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Try to make it into something it wasn't. Ben's would be <laughs> Ben's left because it doesn't treat people right. Knowledge. Too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Knock knock. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, called right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet what did I do? Sneaking around in secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? By me Are in. you gonna let me in or what? Come on. Come on, buddy. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse I like how I come back to Doge Zero. <laughs> Can I talk to you in as, private? As usual. Yes. Let's. Alright, you two love birds. Take your time. I'm just gonna look around. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Why does your apartment look so much better than mine? Talk about living in the past. Well, That's a nice picture. You. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Damn, Bell got or scammed with bees. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. You do all right you there? To talk to Big B. Do okay? Oh, yeah. If I'm... you want to talk, we'll talk. You guys okay? And I come in. And I come in. See, it looks like the Rose Estate. Sorry. <laughs> is this your is this your home, Emily? Yeah, you know what they say. You live in an apartment centuries in New York. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, my expectation for Beast is that he's a kind looks, one with a big uh, body and hot. <laughs> he he is big. What he's a himbo. By that? He's Beast. a himbo. So, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nice. Nothing. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? Big titties, yeah. I didn't know what Booba. else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Ah, <sighs> come why on, you do. Like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I want... I'd like to help you, but... I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Yeah. I gotta know one thing first. Yeah. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain You're honest, assurances. I'll protect you. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Is the crooked Look, man hot? I don't know. I don't know. Lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. Oh, you're in debt. We got in over our heads. Tour There's in not debt. not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... You know me living in a small apartment with a pig? A literal pig? Gonna answer that? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. <laughs> Crooked man is hella mean. Um, let me just, uh, <laughs> oh shit. Day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey, we're and not we done can't come to the phone right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon Wait. as. Wait for it. Possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this 
just long enough to know that if you had the cash, you would have paid Debt right collectors. Now. Consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Uh-huh. See. Bill lost All the castle. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? It's okay, Asian. We could do blood for the blood Lucky gods <laughs> later. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Hey, who's Jersey? I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan mm. payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display So case. the woodsman had to sell his axe to them? he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has there. a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked mm. Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Good morning, you dude. Welcome, Barn Cat. The cut above. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. The baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe Did us. you deliver to the crooked didn't man? didn't think it would get like this. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How are you doing, Barncat, by the How way? did you Life get treating you good? with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. Is I don't Mary... want Beauty to have to work. Is Mary always especially there? Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She See. gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. You fucking killed me, bro. Mary works out of there. I need to look into it. Don't worry, you two. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Admirable. Admirable himbo. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. Look at your None apartment. And look at my apartment. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Oh, come on! I to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Ah, uh, probably not. No, probably not. So, where are you going? Mm, if this let me all think. goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Today's a good sunny day, I'll tell you that. What about you? How are you? I I'm doing as okay as I, c I can be right now, Barn Cat. It's Times are pretty rough, but your boy will get through it. So right now, if we go to the Lucky Pawn, we might implicate beauty, which I do not want to do. But if we go to the Butcher Shop, we will... He said it's okay, and Bloody Mary is there. It's like two birds with one stone. Kind of feeling the Butcher Shop. I want to know... I want to know what's been going on. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, 
Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Hmm. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Am I helping them out what now? Do say? Can well, you help need to kill him? Out? I'll handle, I'll handle it. it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you. Nobody baby. likes a loan I'm shark. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs> the, by by the right thing, you mean do Asians <laughs> Asians idea and blood for the blood god, right? <laughs> hey, Drac, my man, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Foster check. Thank you. Uh, who? Uh, Stop smoking around here. Oh, thank you for the hydration too. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Kilbasa. Cold drinks. How are you? I'm I'm doing okay, man. He's been, like I said, it's been rough, but your boy's hanging in there. Your boy's here. Nothing I haven't seen before. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers. He doesn't have any. Hmm. Right. Very interesting. No customers. What the meat? Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Four dollars a pound for sirloin? That's actually reasonable. In New York? <laughs> In New York? That's reasonable. I mean, in California, it's like twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Pigby Wolf. Yeah, he's me. <clears throat> yeah, you're taking care of welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get yeah. for you? I'm hanging you in there. Interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak. On special. How are you, Drac? How are you? Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, Sirloin, ribs. What? Where's Gross? Bloody Mary? No, Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just. Uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. And but if I find something, something here. And what if I do find something here? Because you haven't been straight with me. Really, Sheriff? You won't. We'll see about that. I. Sheriff. You missed the I... part after the witch, I'll rewatch later. <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. That's not right. I don't like it. It's hiding something from me. Son of a Shit. bitch! Son of a bitch. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Mm. I don't like it. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. Let's just talk, Johan. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Damn it. You're acting suspicious. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. 
Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Hiding something? What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Big me. Please don't. Big me. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Talk. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. Then tell I'm me what I want to know. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make. They? The moment, you mean Mary? Easy, even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. Ah. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you. They muscled in on me, took over my storage and let delivery talk, a long let time talk. ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. Okay, I believe you. I don't you. know what they do back there. I swear. Okay. And I don't want to know. All right, pick them. We'll see. Well, we're about to see what's back there, and then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Let's listen. There would be. Shh. shh. Listen. Don't hear anything. Oh my god, it's breaking bad. They're doing a drug den. This is a drug den. It's a drug den. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. If you lock me in here, I'm coming after you. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. You helped them I escape. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm going to sort this all out. All right, all right, we'll sort this out. And we got fake glamours. So this is what Beast was delivering. Fake glamours. glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Got black market drugs. Donde esta los drogas? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people... It must be Van Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Don't need to explain. I got it. I understand. What else we got? We got chains. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Got narcos. 
is doing narcos. Maybe. Huh. Looks like math or something. A one hundred ten. This is some strange math. Oh, was this? Oh. Shit. Goldilocks. Is on here. You know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Rose Red, Nerissa, Mr. White, Mr. R. Sunflower, Mr. Smith, Mr. Knight, uh, Miss Muffet. <laughs> it was These are raw materials for making magic. These are magic Anti stuff. Leaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. DNA. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables get magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor. He's been capturing witches. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. And it's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. He's enslaving he fables. Here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. On my watch. Son of a you bitch. Just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? This all, I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. Mm. That's why it was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah. Stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane stole Can't a you piece. Just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. That damn well, it. if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Where? Lucky Pawn? The Lucky Pawn. I knew it. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. We'll find a way you to won't protect care you. That I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh,. We'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I'm a smoke in here, if you don't mind. Place is closed. We didn't get much help from this place. I made a bad call. But now we gotta deal with this. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system? What the fuck These is blown going voice on? so sexy. <laughs> yeah. Like just gonna I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? Mm. Mm. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't. Excuse me, fellas. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. Ooh, he got hit. Piece of shit. 
Yo, 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 yo. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Park. Back off. Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Okay. Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk. Chat, if you hear something in the background, I I, some people are outside my window fixing fixing shit right now. So. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? Okay, this you guy. You ain't so tough. Okay, time to do the time to do Asian's way. You know what? Ah. We're doing you it your way. Fucking mother. We're doing it Asian's ah. way now. Motherfucker. Oh. I've had enough of you. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. You still, still think this is your fight? Still think this is your fight? Anvil, break your face in. Nice one, thanks, Woody. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on. <laughs> I need to know. Okay, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There, <laughs> there we go. There we go, Emily. Thank you for the redeem. Thank you for the redeem. Do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh no. yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, friends. Nothing. I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. You became the very the thing you hated. House. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Don't Where's Crane stuff? stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Big be, be, be like, I bet. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Money. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Take the money, man. You won't be needing this anymore. I'll take the money, man. Got here. That sick piece of. Oh. 
Yeah, he's a he's a creep. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Yeah? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. All right. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Well, thank you for flapping your gums and telling me a little bit more than I, I, I didn't know. I needed that. Out of smoke? Here. You got one. Take one. Grand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone says that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. At least I was nice to you, Woody. Thank you for that. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. Can? Get the fucker who did it. That's true. Ain't that the plan? Plan on it. Yeah. You damn right it is. All right. We'll go do it then. Thanks, Woody. You know, Woody was an asshole the first time I met him, but he's he's kind of grown on me. Get, get in the car. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. <laughs> it's just a man with an axe walking down New York City. Power of allies. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Yes, oh, I have. There's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not oh, shut no. up. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. The all of Fable Town so is involved. Did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It yeah. wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. Oh, she cute. <laughs> this is worse than we could have it's imagined. Snow White Drag? That's over now, because we got the mirror. Once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. She is indeed. Would you join me she is at indeed. the mirror? The fairest of them all for a reason, man. <laughs> Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. You burn Crane's shit. Hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. 
I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. Son of a bitch. Wait with bated breath. Son of a bitch, Lex Luthor. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. Mm. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane had it on him. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, hours. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. That's fair. Would you like if she tried to use you as a doorway? That's fair. I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Fair point. You need some help over there. Fair yeah, point. thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. We can't pay him? He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Oh, yeah. Looks like we found dress time. <laughs> well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real wallet because of you. You know the crooked man? Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. You know what? Here, take take Crane's money. I simply don't have it. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. You have to understand. Now get the hell out of here, Toad. Take care of your boy. If we send you to the farm, who's gonna take care of him? Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. Wolf with a heart. I just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Wolf with a heart. Well, yeah. at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? Yeah. I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for he a won't very be a good problem. reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. It's about control. There's one thing I figured out. It's that the crooked it's man control. is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. 
I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. I want to know too. Yeah, I want to see oh, where he's thank you Helios too. for the hydration. Let me get right on that. How are you? <clears throat> you will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, uh. not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Someone's watching. <laughs> What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not. Shame the mirror again. isn't Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I, like want, I, I would like the mirror later. to be Morgan right. Freeman. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Big Show me the crooked we man. Don't have a lot of time. <laughs> mirror, Are you mirror. With the rhyme, sheriff. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does crooked man hang out? Door. I recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold off. It's gone. Ah, the door bounces around. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. You gotta Make hurry. Wait. You gotta hurry. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Or I kill him. You can't just dispense street justice. But street I justice is the only real justice. Try. And you have your reasons to handle this. No a guarantees. Way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I don't I trust in the law. I have enough to here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're I'm gonna ready. I'm going to rip his head off. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I'm gonna rip his head off. I'm gonna rip Bluebeard's head off. Everyone getting their head ripped off. You dig? Street justice. Sometimes it works, though. Hey, we here. Right, kick door, examine, open door. Uh, let's go. Oh, hell, what's going on now? Tim, what the hell I are need you Tim. doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny. Uh, er? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. You're expecting Hold me? Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine. All right, okay. All right, kid. But you know what they say, street justice. The moment I feel something's wrong, street justice. I may be a moth, but I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to fuck people up. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. I know you have a job or an to do. Or for that matter. 
I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. It's Just sad. Keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you here. and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Ah, manipulation. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you. But we need him too. Dark empath villains are the types I hate the most. Is a it's war. true. It's true, Crow. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Man, some kind of a fucking joke to you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop First, go ahead. Oh, you yeah? got a job to do. Thanks. I ain't. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Yeah, I'm here. Put the fear of God into all of you, right? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the... <gasps> oh my God, he's a sword. he's a posh br you <laughs> British it. man. You did well. You can go now. He's the worst type. Thank you, sir. The posh British man. He has a good voice. I hate it. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Mm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. You know what? Let me let me smoke. Let me smoke. What voice you got there, mate? Oh my god, the last episode, chat! The last episode! I've heard stories about you. Peaky for in blind us! How you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. You know, I might not have to kill the Crooked Man, but definitely Bloody Mary is on the list. He's on the list. Did you send Colin to the farm? 85.5% of the players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Makes sense. Did you attempt to remove the nurse's ribbon? 63% did not because 63% are smart. <laughs> Which crooked operation did you investigate first? Okay. Uh, everyone decided to go to the butcher's place first. Did you send Toad to the farm? Did not. Okay. How did you respond to the crooked man? 437 <laughs> lit a cigarette because it's a power play. Do you believe in redemption, or is it a wobbly line? Uh, nice. Oh, thank you for the nice key. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Do I believe in redemption, or is it a wobbly line? Yes and no. I believe in redemption if they prove it, but if they, if they prove that, you know, they're beyond saving, I'd rather just let them burn. This is why Bloody Mary needs to stay as a drink. Exactly, Crow. So, here's my, here's my thought, okay? My thought process, chat. The Crooked Man is a underground operation, and in any in any like in any government, you know, there's always going to be that one uh, shady part that people are going to gravitate towards. To if, on the one hand, removing him completely removes that, but on the other hand, it also destabilizes a lot of things and it makes it super super hard. But it would be the right thing to do. 
the question is do I basically do the right thing and condemn the entire society and watch it crumble around me? Or do I do the semi-right thing, let it exist, but, you know, let it exist, but we be involved with it? Or number, or, or option C. Option C meaning I just fucking kill everyone, dispense street justice, and, you know, live with the repercussions. Because I'm not going to lie to you. Dispensing street justice is kind of how I feel right now. This might just be my personal feelings coming up, but street justice sounds just right. <sighs> but we're going to see. It's time to see. It's time to see what we're going to what we're going to do. Are you guys ready for the last episode? We have time. Let's finish The Wolf Among Us. And let's see what's let's see what's gonna happen. Peace was never an option, no. It was not. Wipe the slate clean. You know, I tried being a nice guy. I am a nice guy, but you know, don't push me. My <laughs> my kindness only goes so far. I have kindness, I have faith, I have hope, but the moment that extinguishes, you're just gonna be staring into a black pit. <laughs> the geese approves. Uh, hold on, let me let me take another drink. A drink. Hmm. Ah, that's good. Also, sound off in the chat if you guys um, after this after this particular series, if you um, if you guys recommend me playing any more Telltale games. Because I'm I'm all for it, man. I'm I'm up to play more Telltale games. So do let me know, um, either on Twitter or uh, on uh, on the chat right now, if you guys would like to see me play more Telltale games like The Walking Dead or maybe uh, there's a Batman one. I'm not sure. Do Walking Dead bathroom break for you, perhaps? You know what? I will take you up on that offer, Barncat. I will take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a bathroom break. Meanwhile, have an ad. M M M. Okay, I'm back. Oh, and, uh, I didn't see that. Thank you for the stretch key. Uh, okay, all right. Telltale is really good. Yes. Uh, do Walking Dead. You know what? Let me let me also make a poll on that. Let me also make a poll on that. Uh, what Walking? What um? What series I should play next? I make a poll. I'll make a poll on Twitter. Oh, excuse me. But here we go. Imagine a K drama Telltale style game. <laughs> I'd want a Telltale game like out of like an anime. <laughs> that'd be that'd be cool. But here we go, episode five. And why am I still a moth? Is, is everybody okay with this? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> Not if I can avoid it. Uh, 
Alright. No. Holly's sister. Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? This true? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Goddamn oh God, silver Big bullet. Me. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. The Telltale series. Also, again, people are hammering outside my window, so if you if you hear me ever mute the microphone, it's so that I don't have to let you guys listen to all the construction work that's been going on outside. <laughs> the Wolf Among Us, the last episode. Doctor's voices too, yeah, it's nice. Episode 5 Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. I'm Certainly. here for one reason. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. How big is his lighter, damn? <laughs> what do you uh, think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of. Why do I gotta, like, light a cigarette, so smoke a little bit, and throw, <laughs> throw it down? Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? Yeah. It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You tried to kill me? You killed those women. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. I don't need evidence. A witness, perhaps. Jersey told me you did it. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that. fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee. An employee? Mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally i just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with who did it you really don't need to worry yourself further an unfortunate bit of business you're gonna tell me right now who killed him sheriff i have complete respect for you and your job i hope you know that but i simply can't divulge that information you really shouldn't worry yourself as i said 
I've got this under control. Do you now? No. I'm gonna deal do with you it now? right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the You're hint pissing me and get off. out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? You almost died, man. <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. A... I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. You son of a bi- I knew it was the pimp. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. I legit thought he pulled out a bigger cigarette card and then he didn't even finish smoking the damn thing. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Punch him! Get your hands off me! Fuck you. Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. Yes. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. Kill them all. <laughs> You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, George. Well, Are take, you seriously throwing me under I'll the take fucking both of you. carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. Is the no way I'm going with him. <laughs> you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I told what you. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you. We grab Georgie. Get the fuck away from me. He's the one you fucking want. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Yeah? You gonna summon Bloody Mary on me? Oh, no. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> this one has to die, though. Bloody Mary Did has I miss to die. Anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Ow! Mm. Come on! Take this! Hey! You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. It's about to go down! Come on, I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Ah! Come on, Georgie! Come on! How's that feel? This way. You want to try? I'm not giving you a second chance, twins. If you want to try something one more time on me, you're gonna die. Come on, Georgie. Ooh. 
Thank you for the quick Jamaica. Oh man, he got stopped in the bar. He got stopped in the car, you know. Oh my God, they're getting away in the car. The bitch is driving. The bitch is driving. in the other car. Fuck it. Thank you, I can't. Come on. Come on. You ain't going nowhere. Shit. Ah. They're getting away. You're gonna Are ram you sure? me? Do it! You're gonna ram me? He's not moving. Keep going! Oh, he's back there now. Come on. By the power of a woo. Well, let me put on, let me put on some clothes. Just so happens they have a shirt my size hanging around. Georgie's car. Yeah, yeah. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he's bleeding. He's bleeding, all right. He's bleeding, all right. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time, slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. Unalive, no unalive is that? What's happened, Georgie? How did? Hello. Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Come here. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. Why are you He's protecting? Dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. The 
Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Why Look, did you do why'd it? Why'd you do it, then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look... Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. <laughs> there. <laughs> you deserve that much. You think that'll help? No. <laughs> you still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the old thing. He must be so Murder easy. Murder him people. now. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad we guy. We need it's all him. His fucking fault. We need him. Get what you give. But what was Bible. I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have let the them end of the go. Day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me if free Lily meant she had to die. What do you still mean? think I had a fucking choice? What are you talking about? What do you mean? This is the original. The, the girl original. with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're, They're all, all free. free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. you those can't were your ribbons. Me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop uh. it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. Sometimes all, sometimes all my options are shit. A lot of moral dilemmas. Uh, if I kill her, all, all of the people under his employ will be able to talk freely. All of the people will be able to talk freely. He won't have any leverage on anyone else. <sighs> fuck it. Let's do it. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? Murder! Why should you get to decide? Either of you. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Okay. I wasn't really- Just shut up. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking- same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily. You're responsible. All of them. Go ahead and do Vivian, it. Vivian, wait. 
I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I Did the other girls them. get a say? No. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Well, time Vivian. for you to atone. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Uh, uh, Vivian, Georgie. no! Fuck! No, 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 no! Well, why did you have broken. to do that? Vivian! Vivian! You happy now? Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> You're gonna Romeo and Juliet your way? <laughs> Sell the head. Sell the head, really? Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a cut right there. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He'll get it worse than you, He's then. gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. All right, he's gonna die. So no head. <laughs> you wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? Yeah. Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. You want a quick Prove death, though? Then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. He's not gonna be alive in a few minutes. <laughs> just make it quick. All right, here you go. Nice and quick for you. All right, Georgie. <laughs> Make it quick. Nice and simple. Now, it's time to bring justice. Time to bring justice. Lights off. This place is closed. Crooked man, you're next. Here, be gonna shower. Don't worry, I'll still be here. Still be here. I knew it. I knew it was the pimp who did it. Well, that's one. One justice dispensed. Time for the second. Time for the second bit of justice. Alright, let's take a look at the limousine. Mothro still has not found the light, so he will be here. I have not. Still warm. He's here, alright. He's got here. He's got here. It's time. Are you ready, chat? Put an end to the suffering. Of course. Of course, it's locked. Come on. That's not how doors work, by the way. <laughs> That's not how doors work. Bigby's voice sounds like the guy who voiced Tank Dempsey in COD Zombies. I have not played COD Zombies. So this is where they've been sending these. Time to be the big bad wolf one last time then. Brute force can solve your problems. Oh, he is the same actor. Oh, nice, nice. Steve Blum? He voiced, uh, Big wolf. in COD Zombie? COD Zombies? The Big Bad Wolf. 
All right, Mary, you want to join the list of bodies? I'm not afraid to add you to the list. You used to be something. I'm going to... Lamp? <gasps> Lamp! Lamp! Hmm, so they've been keeping tabs on me too, huh? Keeping tabs on me. Has found the light. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. I know what y'all gonna say. The moment I get the option to kill uh, kill Bloody Mary, I'm gonna do it. The bitch has been getting on my nerves. He's a psychopath. I do not show remorse or mercy to psychopaths. Steve Blum has the voice of a chat. Steve Blum is also the voice of Starscream in the original Transformers. Did you know that? Silver. The big bad wolf. Ah, where the hell did you come from? It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Your associate you is going here. to die. Don't worry. This won't take long. He's also heat blast from Ben 10 and Bill Gats, really. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. <laughs> Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother equal ever teach you to equal fight? Equal fights rule. Oh. <gasps> 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 equal rights, equal fights. And now she's gone again. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Trixie bitch? There's gonna be at least one death in this factory tonight. Hmm. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Come on, come on, come on. Easy, easy, oh, easy. Easy now, easy. <laughs> Fast reflexes, it's a good thing. Okay, goddamn psycho bitch. Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> oh, shit, I got hit with that one. Where are you? Come out and face me. That is creepy. That is creepy. Ah! <laughs> Right, monster fight. Q, Q, Q. Come on, get off me, get off me. Wolf's out. Wolf time. I hate 
mm, tricksy opponents like this. There's more of them? Oh my god, there's more of them? Son of a bitch. This is extraordinarily difficult. Okay. Only one left, bitch! in real life though <laughs> I'm only half wolf I don't think I can do that <laughs> but I'm now naked I'm naked hello crooked man Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. A this gun? gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot. Oh! I won't miss next time. Uh. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And yes. that's what I want. You're dealing with Snow's me now. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. I'll Tell me now. Here. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Mm -hmm. This is just a precaution. 
I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. It's true. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. And what are you? If you're not a killer? Then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? About justice! Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. Son of a bitch, this goddamn dead, corrupt. Sons of bitches. My point being, the killer has been <sighs> dealt with. You've won. Come down, Zero, come down. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand. Down, Zero, think logically. Think logically. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could... Then we all die here! I've had it up to here now? with goddamn corrupt you politicians! Some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. No, but it'll and make me feel better. what would White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. I am you just so goddamn fucking tired! <laughs> this... Is uh, I am so tired of you political bullshit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Whew. Sorry about that, Chad kind of got to me a little bit but I think I needed that I think we all needed that I think we all needed that I don't give a shit right now the hell is Big B? Oh come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding Are me? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, any minute and then we'll get started I really appreciate you taking the time I know it's short notice but given the circumstances He's dead <laughs> Thank you, Janora. What have you done? Oh, the right God. thing? Bigby. Shit, he killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it! You ripped him apart. I did not. I told you to bring him back alive. Oh. It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone. This? It's terrible. No, it's not. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty clear. I was just defending myself. It was him or me. That's not what it looks like, buddy. You tore that fucker apart. I get it, but you call that self-defense? Yeah, self-defense, oh, man. <laughs> Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? Justice. This is not justice! <laughs> you Street know justice. it's not. Why not? This is Big B Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this What's anymore. done is done. It's too late for that discussion now. He's dead, so let's move on. So, that's it? We can't just move on. That's all you have to say? Well, I think he did the right thing. If this guy killed Faith and my sister, how can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we Okay, first of all, fuck.
<sighs> okay, hold on, Snow White. First of all, hold on. L l let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Go, give, give me, give me. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, first of all, first of all, Snow. If he had gotten a fair trial, you know he would have spun some political bullshit, and he would have gotten every, he would have gotten himself free and walk and caused more pain for everyone else. We have. Okay. We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Georgie told me everything. The crooked man made him kill those girls. He gave the order. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... He's also dead. What? Where is he? Big B? He's also is dead. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope He wasn't not. behind it. Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing. That doesn't answer the question. Georgie and the crooked man were guilty of murder. I made sure they couldn't hurt anyone else. You mean... So he's dead. Is that what you're yes, telling me? Yes, he's dead. Dead too. I don't even know what to say to you right now. Uh, Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? He's, he's crooked now. Your he's living job up to his, is to keep <laughs> he's living up to his name. Safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... Without due process, it makes us look what? like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad I solved the case. fucking dead. I solved this case. The crooked man gave the order, Georgie carried it out, and I took care of both of them. I made myself very clear. Yes, you did. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Bigby, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. I understand. If that happens, I can't defend you. Okay, Snow. I get it. Do you? Listen, maybe you were right this time about the crooked man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. Good. So how do you explain that? That's not- Bigby, don't. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No. That's not Is this how- this what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, <laughs> that's not fair. Nah, I'll just bat you around for a while. Make sure you get not. thoroughly fucked up. Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to- You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sheriff isn't going you to- You see? The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, she wanted my tree destroyed. What? Why would you do that? And did I destroy your tree? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You tried to ruin my life for no this reason at all. What else were we supposed to do? None of this matters. We're not here to talk about your damn tree. It doesn't matter. Bigby just means It that... matters to me. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man So to... that makes me a villain? You can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. Your tree right. is still here. Your tree is still here and you're safe and you have a job. I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't kick the shit out of everybody. Or destroy what's ours. 
He also earned the position. Don't That's enough. Start. He left us alone. I've had about enough of this shit. You really think you'd rather have Crane back? Oh shit, I'm losing the, the crowd. What the fuck you're talking about? Excuse me? Hey, wait. You can't talk to us that way. Big B's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, Snow cared about Lily. She cares about all of us. And it's if true. she's in charge, then I know she's gonna look out for us. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. You know that's not gonna stop the sheriff from pulling the same shit he always has. I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got tossed around your fucking bar. That was different, Grand. Your arm is still Holly's there. Right. Your arm Hogan is still Man okay. took over my shop, but Bigby tried to help me out. Everyone, please just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a you shit. Some help, Miss White. Just a minute. This can't continue. Listen. I still have something to say. Listen, friend. But I was. Please. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. Just as a scorpion stings, the wolf must bite. Nom, 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 nom. But with a sheriff so impulsive, shouldn't the new deputy mayor have at least some command over her office? Little beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse oh yeah, she can. Me? She can talk now. She can talk the now. She? My Let name her speak. Is Nerissa. Let her speak. Blue Let her beard. speak. But let her speak. Let her speak, Lex Luthor. I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Yes, because yes. Because of the sheriff and Snow. I can finally talk yes. about what happened to me. Abuse. To all of us. Abuse. We're free now. And I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past. And I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town. And we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. I do. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The crooked man is dead. The killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the sheriff or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's go. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. Yes. I trust Snow to do right by us. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. Let's go! She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? Yes, we'll do better. Of course we will. We're not like Crane. We'll look out for you. We'll see. Now, l let me just dispose of this, this guy. You see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. It's over. I needed... I needed some of this. Good riddance. Garbage. The choice is blank. This choice is blank. This choice is blank. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Come on, Colin. Come on. Get back in the apartment, pig. 
Come on, pig. Get back in the apartment. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Oh, this choice is blank. I didn't unlock this one. It's blank, too. I don't know why all of these are blank. What does this mean? Blank choices. Oh, okay, hold on. What happens if I just let it play out? Yeah, what? What? Yeah, what? What's going on, guys? What's going on? Boy, this is blank. Here. Maybe it's alternate stuff. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you, all fixed up. Glitch? <clears throat> oh, what is this? Wait, what? what's going on? What's going on, game? Game? Come on, Dorothy. Game? Shit. I know. What's going on? Yeah, the game is glitching out on me. Hold on. Let's go to main menu for a little bit. Go to main menu for a little bit. The game is glitching out on me. Where are we? Where are we now? Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're back here. One day later. There we go. Someone tapping into the multiverse. Now we can get a, a proper epilogue. Hey, Sheriff. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Yes. I'll take that. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Thanks. I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. I still don't know what Bluebeard does. Okay, Someone's there. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Come on, go back, go back, pig, go back. Go back. All right, get back over there, pig. The game kind of glitched out for a minute. <laughs> Oh, Gowan! Jesus! Still going to the farm? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> oh, shit! Sorry about all Just this. I tried to help. That, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money. 
But she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Mm hmm. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her. Yeah, yeah. sure. I couldn't take them all with me. And she said she liked that one the best. The beetle. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when love they're it. little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. You'll be Do okay, we have kid. have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> You'll be safer <laughs> there. Worry. It'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. It won't be have so bad. Have you been kid. there before? No, I'm. Uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? I try to help, well, man. Sad. I try to help. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? How should I know? <laughs> How should I know? What do you mean? Saying goodbye. Pig. The pig is my is my food source. He's, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be my room. In case I get craving for bacon. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... I understand. It's okay. I get it. Can remove it when you're when you're Listen, ready. I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Mm hmm. Not sure where to start. Emergency <sighs> ration. Faith. Exactly. Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out, leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you just imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I hmm. thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Oh, so it was you. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were trying to protect you were them. Just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised things he'd got out things of hand, over the crooked man. Didn't they? But then Oh god. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Okay. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while mm. the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out. And so she sorry. just... I'm so sorry. That's... That's horrible. <sighs> that night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. 
Mmm, so that's what you did. You're the one who started this whole thing. I walked her over here, and I left her. A piece Just of hoping fabric. That maybe if I couldn't save them. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started you all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The That's crooked fair. man was That's counting fair. on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it. I mean, that that's way. fair. That's fair. We just fade like we never existed. I mean, while the, the higher ups play their games, the or think they can just get away with Nobody it. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make mm, things. God, right. that's heavy. <laughs> yep. Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone i just can't win with these people i know it might feel that way but they need you bigby both of you you two make a good team the way you look out for each other and look out for us you don't see that a lot these days mm. look bigby after everything you've done for us maybe they don't want to admit it but Without you, oh, thank you for the none hydration drag. Have happened. You listened the drink. when no one else would. <laughs> you knew when to show mercy, mm. and you brought justice to this town. Finally, if you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just yeah, talked yeah. his way out. I, of it I like told you guys, I told does. you. So, from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Goddamn pickles here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You had to bring it up near you had to bring it up near the end didn't you huh <laughs> near the end all right you've been given this job okay <laughs> no and i left faith at your doorstep because i knew if anyone stood a chance against the I hope i've band, done some good it was you i hope i've at least done some good here i'm pickle zero you've changed this place i turned For myself into a pickle worse, fable town wouldn't be the same without you What an emotionally heavy scene for me to be a pickle in. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I genuinely hope you're right. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find mm. what you're looking for. Wait. I'll see you around. Wolf. Wait. <laughs> Well, that's it, guys. That was the end of the Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, wait. Let me let me play some let me play some background music for this. Ayo, hey, GG. Yes. What did you do to Georgie? Sixty-eight point six of the players killed Georgie. Okay. Did you give the Crooked Man trial? No. Ten point four percent of players killed the Crooked Man at the foundry. Well, the thing is, had had this had everything this week happened differently, I might have given him a chance. However, I think I am also guilty of letting my my own personal <laughs> personal shit cloud my judgment, and I'm just tired of seeing like you know guys who have like the upper hand in the law talk their way out of things or get away with lots of shit. So I, I did what I had to do, what I felt was right. Did I walk out of the Witching Well? Yes. 84% of players stayed until the end. And 98.5 of the players decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. What happened to the, the like, the 0.5, 2.5? What were your last words to Narissa? You and 54.8% of players said, I hope I've done some good here. That's, f that's fair, that's fair. Yes. Justice, Emily. Justice had been done. 
Special stats. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast. You impressed her with your detective skills. Uh, Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Butcher, you offered him protection. Yeah. Colin, you gave him a drink. You helped to avoid the farm. I truly hope there's a part two. Actually, Barncap, there is a part two that was, that's announced that it's probably going to be announced sometime near the end of this year. The Wolf Among Us 2, which I am excited to play. I want to play it now. They just renewed. This game came out a long time ago, but they just announced a part two. So <laughs> the only thing for Crane, I slapped him. Faith, you gave her money after the fight. You smashed up this place. You took money from Georgie's safe. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. You went to his place first. You prevented him from dying. That's good. Snow, you brought her along with you. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. You accepted his beetle. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. You gave him money. Vivian is dead. Woody, you chose to arrest him at the trip trap bar. Yeah, yeah. Those are some special stats. Oh. Oh, that's the end of that. <laughs>